What's up guys, I'm Kobe Person. How easy is it for a pedophile to pick up an underage child using social media? Well today we're gonna find that out. I made a fake profile on Facebook posing as a 15 year old boy. With the parents permission, I friend requested three girls ages 14, 13, and 12 years old. I've been talking to these girls for the last three or four days and today we're supposed to meet up. What we found in this video is shocking and something everyone should see. Be sure to watch until the end and use what we've learned in this video to better educate your friends and family. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This first girl, her name is Michaela. She's 13 years old. We've been talking on Facebook for the last couple of days and we're supposed to meet up at the park later when her parents leave the house. I'm just waiting right now for to get the text that her parents have left the house. So we just got a text. My parents just left. I can be at the park in 10 minutes. We're gonna go see if she comes in 10 minutes. We're gonna go right now, set up all the cameras, and uh, just be waiting there for her. So she said she's gonna meet me at the park playground. So uh, this is the closest to her house, she said. So right now I'm texting her that I just got here. All right, we'll just wait, see what she says. She said, okay, I'll be there in five minutes. Oh, she's coming, yep. Michaela? Where are you? From Facebook. Do you remember? Michaela! Are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Sorry. He could have been a rapist. He could have been a pedophile. Why would you do this? I'm sorry. I'm yeah, you know that I could have been anyone. Like, you, you talked to me for the last four days. You've been talking to me on Facebook, you just, do you know that like, don't, you shouldn't talk to strangers, especially online. Like, I wasn't even the, do I look the same as my picture? It could be even worse than that. You realize how scary this could have been? Come here. We have to talk. This next girl, her name is Juliana. She's 12 years old, and we're supposed to meet up tonight when her father falls asleep. But right now I'm here with John who's uh, Juliana's father. We're gonna see if she's actually gonna come to the door or not. She said, this was the last text, LOL, I would have to wait till my dad falls asleep if you wanna chill, because I can't have boys over. So she wants to chill tonight, supposedly. Um, what do you think about that? I don't think she's gonna open the door. God, I hope she doesn't open that door. What's your address? I pray she does not say. respond to this. Well, I can't say the address, but she just literally just text the address start driving to the address close by my dad's going to drop me off all right so she just said i think my dad fell asleep you can come now the one with the light right here yes i'm outside come to the front door What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. How can you do this? You're 12 years old. This guy's 20 years old. You could have been raped and murdered. We already lost your mother. What would I do if anything happened to you? What would I do if anything happened to you? I love you. Don't you ever do this again. <laughs> Did you ever do anything like this again? <laughs> I'm sorry. This next girl, her name is Jenna. She's 14 years old. We've been talking online over text message and even had a phone conversation. So right now we have the parents of Jenna. Jenna thinks 
her parents are going out tonight for date night. She thinks my brother is gonna be driving, so she's gonna get in the car, but she doesn't actually know that it's all just me. So I'm gonna text her right now. Did your parents leave yet? Yeah, like 15 minutes ago. Do you think she's gonna go through with this? No way. Absolutely not. I don't even believe it's her. Okay. Probably one of her friends playing around with her. What's your address? All right, is this, is this your house? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. We are here, come out. You don't think she's coming out? She better not be coming out. Oh, I see the door opening. Yeah, please. Yep. I see you, someone. Shh. Can't believe this. Are you Daniel's brother? Yeah, yeah. Hop in. He's in the back. Over here. Jenna, stop it, your mother or father. Jenna, look, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. How could you dare go into a stranger's car? What are you thinking? Just explain Give me, me your phone right now. Give me your phone now. What would have happened if you came out and it wasn't us sitting back here and there were really crazy people back here? We never would have saw you again. We watched movies together. We've looked at newspaper articles and the news about all these things are real life situations that have happened. And we've discussed them. What, you think it's fine to go try it out on your own? But what happened is if they would have drove away and it would have been three strangers sitting in this car? Huh? What would you have done? What would we have done when we didn't have our daughter anymore? You understand, you probably thought you were talking to a 15 year old, you didn't even know what was happening, did you? You just got in like that. You were going with everything I was saying. You understand now. So never ever do that again. This will teach you a lesson forever. Your whole life. 